pop star in the world wasn't sure if she was good enough. She didn't think she looked right. There were a thousand things to her that seemed wrong. this movie you're who I'm thinking of I'm not thinking of anybody else you know it's almost yours to lose or to take I felt like can I do this movie can I really pull this movie off I mean I'm playing opposite Kevin Costner I mean, he's you know he's well trained and all that kind of stuff and he knows what he's doing he's done it's like what is it? one day and it said well you know Whitney um, there will probably never be another role like this for a woman especially a black woman um, to do again you know there was a time when I identified with Rachel so much um, I, I was threatened and um, there was a letter sent to me and uh, you know the guy threatened me and said that he would take me out you know I, um, I thought about it for a second. I thought, well, maybe I shouldn't go on, you know. But then there's 19,000 people waiting for me. I held her hand and told her that she looked beautiful. I told her that I would be with her every step of the way. That everyone there wanted her to succeed. But I could still feel the doubt. He said, don't worry. He said, I will be there with you. And he said, believe me, you, you're going to be a natural at it. He said, you're going to be just great in this film. And I was going, well, how do you know this? I had a miscarriage during the filming of The Bodyguard. It was very painful, emotionally and physically. I was back on the set the next day. Kevin cares. Kevin really cares. Kevin takes the time. dark things get for any of us. I mean, if we can somehow hold on, our life can be in a really different place a couple years from now. The Whitney I knew, despite her success and worldwide fame, still wondered, am I good enough? Am I pretty enough? Will they like me? It was the burden that made her great and the part that caused her to stumble in the end. Whitney, if you could hear me now, I would tell you you weren't just good enough. You were great. You sang the whole damn song without a band. And people didn't just like you, Whitney. They loved you. All those young girls who are dreaming that dream. But maybe thinking they aren't good enough. I think Whitney would tell you, guard your bodies. 
and guard the precious miracle of your own life. And then sing your hearts out, knowing that there's a lady in heaven who is making God himself wonder how he created something so perfect. So off you go, Whitney. Off you go. Escorted by an army of angels to your heavenly Father. When you sing before him, don't you worry. You'll be good enough. <laughs>